Eat some bitch. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. Today, as you can see right in front of your face, at the bottom of the screen today, your boy RDR is doing a chili cheese fries mukbang collaboration with one, the only, Little Gilmo Eats. That's right, Little Gilmo Eats. So I've been wanting to work with Little Gilmo Eats for a good grip now, and I'm so glad that we finally got this collaboration going. And I'm super excited. I told him, I said, hey, man, let's get up on the chili cheese fries. And he told me, hey, man, he going to come with it with his. Me, Cuddy, I just hit up my chili cheese plug. As always, don't even ask me. You ain't going to know who you know what I'm talking about. So I went and got my original chili cheese fries. Got two sets of the bitches, you know what I'm talking about. And we are going to get into this collaboration video. So if you have not heard of Little Gilmo Eats, Please, well, after this video, go check out Little Gilmo Eats. His link to his channel will be at the bottom of the description box. Uh, and also, the link to his Chili Cheese Frost collaboration video will be in the bottom of the link in the description box. Go over there, hit, send him some love, like, share, subscribe to the video, comment, let him know that RDR sent you. Um, and I promise you, you will not regret Subscribe to this brother's channel, all right? Cut his show, me none of my unconditional love. And shout out to Snoopy East 408 for, you know, bringing us together, Paul. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would have never heard of Little Gilmo East if it weren't for him. And I'm very glad that I did. Uh, he turned out to be a very genuine dude, you know what I'm saying? And I really respect what he's doing over there. And he's definitely going to go far in this YouTube street. So shout out to you, Little Gilmo East, and thank you again for this collaboration. Um, so, yeah, we got chili cheese fries going on today. Um, let's go ahead and get a quick moment of prayer in, okay? Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish the body of the strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless those who grow hungry as I pray that you please follow them something in your holy gracious mind name we pray. Amen. I love you, Father. All right, now, okay, we got the prayer out the way. Let's go ahead and get a quick thumbnail in. Way, pray out the way. If this is your first time coming to RER Food Reviews, I am your host Roberto Del Real, aka RER. And this is RER Food Reviews. I not only just do food reviews, as you can see, I do mukbang videos, mukbangs, whatever. Challenge videos, versus videos, vlog videos, hot topic videos, the work. So if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button at the top, that notification bell that should be racing over here sometime soon. So you can get the latest, greatest RDR food reviews. And when you hit that notification bell, make sure you click all so you can get all the posts that I put in community tab and stories, which are very rarely. Uh, so make sure you click all. And also follow your boy on, on Instagram, Roberto Del Rio 86 um, Yeah, I might follow you back if you have something going on in your life. If you don't, I mean, come on. Why would I follow somebody that's got like three posts? You know what I'm saying? I could follow a Ajax uh, Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'm not following no ads, Cuddy. And another thing is too, Cuddy, if you look just wanna wanna just follow me for me to get uh, help you get a come up, you gotta get it out the mud, Cuddy. It's not gonna happen. All right. So anyway, back to these messages, thumbnail, all that out the way. Let's dig in. Today is going to be a. Um, it's going to be a hot topic video, and it has to be, okay? Because the first story that I'm about to tell you guys, oh, nigga, it's sad, but it, oh, it has to be reported. Oh, my God. First of all, let me show you this right here. Look at this shit here. Oh, look at that beautiful chili cheese fries right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. That goo action, you know what I'm talking about? I know. <sighs> Dangerously cheesy. All right. Let's get that. Let's get going, baby. All right. So this first story cutting is coming to us from New Jersey. I think it's like Tom's River or something like that. Cutting. I want y'all to take a look at this picture of uh, your average. Average preacher, you know what I'm talking about? Someone you go to 
if you're having problems with your marriage, or you're having problems with financial problems or whatever, cutting, there's a lot of preachers out there that you can go to and you confess and you can just tell them everything in the world. But that nigga up there, <laughs> he is not the one. Point taken is this. This preacher here, what is, let me see, what is, what is his cutting name? Reverend Dr. William Weaver. <laughs> this nigga here was arrested for, uh, was arrested because this nigga here had counts of uh, aggravated sexual assault. Uh, sexual battery, false imprisonment, and uh, cutting. This nigga here got arrested because this nigga here been out here, and this is true statement. He been out of here sucking evil spirits. <laughs> sucking evil spirits at a niggas in his congregation. What kind of nigga shit is this? This nigga's over here sucking the, for real, sucking evil spirits. Get over here! Out of his congregation, nigga. <laughs> so, obviously, it's just dudes that he's over here popping trunk on, Cuddy. Yeah, man, this nigga here been a Presbyterian preacher for 40 years. 40 years, he been out here, <laughs> nigga been out here sucking cock. So when they arrested this nigga, this nigga talking about he was sucking evil spirits out of niggas. Get over here! What the fuck, Cuddy? Oh my, like seriously. Talking about the, um, he was uh, performing an act of exorcism on people that had demons and shit. Please, nigga. What at in the fucking Bible does it say? If a nigga got a demon in him to suck his cock, what kind of shit is that? And oh, apologies for language, but nigga, this here is the craziest shit I've ever. <gasps> oh, hot topics, gutting. So yeah, this nigga been over here using oral sex and Native American rituals to remove demons from troubled church members. You just can't make this shit up. So anyway, this nigga's 69 years old. And somebody done, uh, you know, fully put this nigga in the dirt. He been doing this to grown man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he been doing this to children. But one nigga said he been uh, performing. Uh, he been pretty much sucking him off for the past 20 years. Until the finally one day he was just like, this shit got to end. <laughs> How the fuck do you let an a old nigga uh, perform Motherfucking, ugh, how? How do you, win? I don't get it. So you've been letting this nigga suck you off since you was 20 years old and, and you just woke up and was like, you know what? Nigga, this shit ain't right. What the fuck? And you know what's the craziest shit? This is how, it, and this is not even to go deep into it. So pretty much this nigga here will tell them niggas he gonna put a coin on their forehead and on their ankles and balance it. And then this nigga here was finna do the rest of the work. Get the fuck out of here. Presbyterian churches always, oh, hey, um, if you go out, if you are at a Presbyterian church, you're a member of Presbyterian church, not all of them is messed up, but cut it. Y'all do have history. Catching up with the Catholic niggas. Shout out to the Catholic people. Catching up with these niggas is over here getting caught doing these weird ass acts, you know what I'm saying? But y'all more into fucking holding up snakes and testing your faith and shit and niggas getting bit to death in front of their whole congregation. Like, I mean, Jesus, man, and Joseph, come on, Cuddy. Them niggas really Cuddy, for real? And then, when they, when they arrested him and they, you know, they swept his whole crib, what, of course, what do you think they found on this nigga computer? This nigga got a history of watching gay porn. Nah, nigga. You want performing no, uh, 
You weren't doing no Native American rituals and all that other shit. Nah, nigga. You was taking lessons for Pornhub. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. Doing that nasty, doing that weird ass shit, man. And who in that church is not woke? You know what I'm saying? Somebody had to know somebody that had to know somebody was in that bitch getting blessed. You know what I'm saying? By this nigga. And he should have said something. Should have said something, for real. Because this nigga here is going down as the sad, dusky of preachers. Y'all know how that ended with that nigga. Just can't understand it, cuz. And this is me just being realistic. This is real, cutting. This just would have never, never happened at no black church, nigga. Hell no. Not no grown ass man. Unless he wanted it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck no. Nah. You know what I'm talking about? Already, nigga. I'm telling you. Real nigga spit. Ha! <laughs> and then another thing I just thought about. And then I'm going to close out on this segment. How the fuck can you tell by doing that? Performing oral acts. How the fuck can you tell if there's an evil spirit in that motherfucker or not? <laughs> Uh, just want uh, is an evil spirit salty, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? What kind of nigga shit is that, huh? And the great spirits, you know what I'm saying? So what do you do? You get rid of all the salty spirits, and then you wait to the end till you finally taste some sweetness of the light. Get the fuck out of here. And if that was true, nigga, after eating that. <laughs> In that caviar just the other day, nigga. I just fucking just ate a whole bunch of fish, dead fish spirits, nigga. I'm fairly fucked. Pause, nigga. So anyway, put a cap on that motherfucker and bury it deep in the dirt. He he deserve everything that's coming to his motherfucking ass. And trust me, nigga. Now when you go to the pen, you can you can suck the demons out of all the niggas on A block, nigga. I'm telling you, they waiting on you. It's gonna be a whole bunch of preachers just like you, nigga. Bible study is on Friday nights, bitch. <laughs> Get out of there. Next story, cutting. Oh man. Did y'all hear the story about this Georgia woman? Which we we've all we've all or well, some of us, you know what I'm saying? Super, super picky eaters, the dedicated ones. Oh, I've been to McDonald's and got a bad batch of cold fries. Ah, refreshing. Try it back on that H2O. Got to clean the palate. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we've all had bad batches of cold fries from McDonald's. Some of us be just like, fuck it. I don't went too far to go back around. And then there's some people that are just dedicated, cutting. They are dedicated to making these niggas understand, you're going to get my order right. I want fresh bats. Some people, they already know, hey, when they in the drive through they call their, hey, I want fresh fries. I will wait. Ain't nothing like some hot, crispy fries. You know what I'm saying? This Georgia woman, she'll go above, went to McDonald's, ordered her fries, right? When uh, she left, she should have checked the motherfuckers as soon as she was, you know, in the car. But I guess she, I don't know about y'all, but whenever I get fries from McDonald's, I cannot help but take a dip in the bag, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? But she did it. She left, and now that she went home, and then she realized the hose was cold as ice. She got back in the slab, went inside, told them niggas that she wants some fresh fries. So I guess apparently... She and the manager dude got into it, and she was telling them niggas, I want fresh fucking fries. I guess she pulled out the blicky on them niggas. <gasps> them niggas gave her her money back. I guess she busted a shell or whatever. 
And then the cops found out about that shit and then they was chasing her for like 10 to 15 miles. <laughs> Come on, Sugar. Did you really have to pull out the gun and start blasting in, in the house that Ronald built? Was it really that serious? I mean, Jesus, man. Joseph, you got your money on <laughs> you. You got to put the gun in them niggas' face and tell them, hey, nigga, I need my mother. I'm on fresh fries. And them niggas gave me your money back. And then you evaded arrest on these niggas. And now Cuddy is in jail without bond. You know what I'm talking about? For aggravated robbery and armed assault. As she fired that the gun <laughs> into McDonald's, Cuddy. So now Cuddy is out here locked up looking stupid over some cold ass fries. You just can't make this shit up. What was Cuddy's name again? What's her name again? It was, it was a hard. It was, I think it was a. It's like Lillian. Lillian Tarver. You're a dumbass. But I have to applaud you, uh, Cuddy. I gotta applaud you for your your freedom fighter for real. Cause now McDonald's in your region will get it right and understand if you don't give me fresh fries, we blast it. Feel it icky up, but you would sticky up. And the last story, Cuddy, last story, Iggy Azalea. So Iggy Azalea, who I don't know if y'all remember her, she made that one hit Warner song, Fancy and all this stuff. She was signed to T.I. She's probably one of them, the only, I think she's like, she was, she's Australian and like, she was like first, I think, Caucasian female rapper next to Bad Bunny. <laughs> was complaining in a Vegas hotel. She got charged $64 for a grilled cheese sandwich. Cuddy was complaining about it. Wrote on Twitter, oh, they just charged me $60-something or $50-something for a grilled cheese sandwich. But Cuddy, you be stunting in your songs and your lyrics talking about you be popping Ace and Crystal and this and this and that. Cuddy, if that was Will Smith or somebody else, I don't know. Maybe Will Smith be complaining, but if it's anybody else, the niggas would not be complaining about no, no 60 some dollar grilled cheese sandwich. And then again, nigga, who's ordering the grilled cheese sandwich, nigga, and you in a hotel in Vegas? That's some shit you can make at home. You can pick anything in the world. You put a grilled cheese sandwich? No wonder why Swaggy Pete cheated on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? D'Angelo Russell was right. No, I take that back. No. D'Angelo Russell was not right. D'Angelo Russell was one of the, <coughs> the treacherous traitors of the decade. Snitched on Swaggy Pete and broke the bro code. He ain't go to state now. So Steph Curry, look out. Because he probably not already got Aisha Curry's number, and them niggas have made a plan to catch you on the road fucking around. But back to Evie. Cuddy, she over here talking about she finna report her credit card stolen and shit. Because she feels she was overcharged. I mean, yeah, I guess it is kind of high to, uh, to a normal nigga, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the utensils and shit was like $9 too. So, but anyway, nigga, you should understand. You staying in a high-ass hotel like that, you should expect that, Cuddy. Just lame nigga shit, Cuddy. But it is what it is, and it was what it was. Oh, man, that was fun. Thank you guys for watching my Chili Cheese Fry Mukbang collaboration with none other than Look at more eats. <sighs> Double refreshing. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you don't like this video, hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR. And like I always say, man, Cuddy, hey, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Don't forget to hit go to the Little Gilmo Eats channel. The link will be at the bottom. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Let's bless him up and get him... 
way in the atmosphere. Show him more love than you ever showed me, Cuddy. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit my subscribe button if you like what you saw tonight. Also, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram. The words. It's your boy RDR. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care. Already. I love you guys, and I will see y'all very, very soon. God bless y'all, and good night.